get absolutely annihilated. Drunk and blasted. <laughs> Responsible. That's a lot of synonyms. <laughs> College? Nah, food reviews. Uh, guys, happy Friday. We made it to the end of another week. It's time for pizza and beer, but first, you guys, you gotta join our Discord. If you don't know what Discord is, it's kind of like an adult chat room. It's got our fans and us hanging out, talking all day, different channels, sharing what we're having for lunch, for dinner, what we're drinking. We'd love for you to join. Link is below. We'll be on there. We'll wave hi. Start the episode. Montage. Welcome to Brewing Review. It's time for Brewing Cheers. And View. Ooh, that's hopped up. Corey, what are we sipping on today? Today we got Voodoo Rangers Juicy Hazy IPA. 7.5% alcohol by volume. It's a new Belgium beverage. Used to be one of my favorites, now I'm off the hop strain. So. This, this skeleton's got just such a cool look to it. He's got the bro. ace of spades in his hat. That's right. Uh, ace of mushrooms? Or is that a spade? That's a, that does look like a mushroom. Ace of mushrooms. Ace of mushrooms, dude. And he's got, I mean, just what a wild, he's got the gold tooth in the front I mean, right. Suit jacket. I want that jacket. That would that would uh, really up my coolness factor. Yeah, hell of a blazer. 7.5%, though, so these will get you good and toasty. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. And what are we feasting on today? Well, today we're on the Geno's East train. If you guys know, Chicago, Illinois has a lot of major mecca pizza spots. Gino's is one of those. And in the frozen food aisle, you can get deep dish or you can get tavern style, which you got today with the meaty legend, yeah. a crumbled Italian sausage, pepperoni, Canadian bacon, and the right kind of bacon, American bacon, American. known as bacon. American. It's a Chicago classic since 1966. Should we start feasting? Don't they call you the meaty legend? Uh, yeah, I've been, I've been uh, known to go by that. That name? ML. This looks real cheesed up. The cheese is over a lot of the ingredients, so you don't actually know how much meat you're getting until you start feasting. Yeah, that's right. All right, here we go. This is the meaty legend from Gino's Cheers. East. Cheers. Wow. This is maybe the most cheese I've had on a pizza. Yeah, frozen pizza. That's damn good frozen pizza. It's I like decent. the sauce a lot. It's nice and salty. It's not the crispiest, but we could have left it in longer. It's tough to tell. No. The outside crust was looking ready to be like done, but. It does. I always want like the end mm -hmm. of cooking a pizza. I wish we had like a blowtorch to kind of caramelize the mm -hmm. top. Like you get the bottom and the edges are good, but I want to blowtorch the top. Maybe that's like. invest in that. Maybe some people would say like turning broil on for like a minute or two. I always get worried about using the broil setting. I don't fully know what it does. I don't even know what a Ultra convection hot. item uh, oven is. I don't know a lot of things. I think it's air, adds air or something. Okay, I'm gonna get a blowtorch. No. Can you uh, let me know how much this was? Yeah, this was uh, $9.49. That doesn't help it. No, it's a little higher, but 10 bucks. Damn. This is one of my favorite uh, frozen pizzas we've gotten. Honestly, I love the sauce, the, taste the cheese. Is great, yeah. It's not a meaty legend. Definitely not a meaty legend. It's false advertising. Mm -hmm. That's like you or anybody. Where everyone's going around saying how big their hog is, mm -hmm. and then some girl finally gets with the guy and goes. Average. Why was your gut instinct to say that's like you? Because I called you a meaty legend earlier. <laughs> Only because of that. Okay. Okay. I feel you some shade. <laughs> You actually back up your meaty legendness with that thick hog. Yeah, some people can't. Actually, one of the smallest penises <laughs> in known Chicago. to man in Chicago. But if you travel back to Ohio, you're bigger. Yeah, that's everyone knows that. I'm gonna try another slice, and I'm gonna add some Sixer sauce to it. Same. You always dress up the frozen pizzas, so why wouldn't we do that? I like to play dress up. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the OG. That's what I'm doing. No kidding. I've had so much uh, hotter. Me too. Lately, I kind of want to get back to the mild again, which is even smoother on the taste. Yeah, it definitely is. Because the heat doesn't smoke you out. I like to get a little so drip nice. too. This one's got so much cheese. Hmm. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it ages in the bottle as you uh, as you don't use it. Oh, this is good. I mean, obviously, it elevates the pizza taste. It's my second favorite hot sauce in the world. I know, right behind Truff. Mm. I, wonder if, I wonder if they know that you think they're the best. Because I think our hot sauce is better. <laughs> I was working in the lab late one night. The perfect all-purpose hot sauce didn't exist. So number six with cheese teamed up with the number one culinary name in the game. It's great copywriting. Sucking myself off. <laughs> I haven't read the bottle in a while. Damn, dude. I did a good job of writing that. I actually haven't looked at the label in uh, since we made the label. You know what I mean? Like, I just open it and eat it. Mm -hmm. I don't ever look at it. You know when I've been a victim of uh, self-jerkage? Uh, 
for what? A great park jobs. You I'll are. get out and I'll look at it. I'll go. You do, it. man. You make other people compliment you. That was sick. People will be walking by on the sidewalk. You're like, what do you like, think? Hey, come look how close I am to this back bumper. You're the George Costanza. One, one pull in. Yeah. One pull in, no adjustments. Can you believe that? And then we hug. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. It's like a Costanza. What about that spot I got? Huh? Yeah, I saw the spot. <laughs> you can't beat that spot. I pulled it in perfectly equidistant from the car in front of me and the car behind me. City life, baby. Mm -hmm. Parallel parking. It's one of those skills that like you have to learn technically to get your driver's license. But man, a lot of people do it once and never have to do it again mm -hmm. because they, like mm -hmm. my family, this is great. I can't tell you the last time my family had to parallel park. There's mm -hmm. giant spaces. Driveways. Yeah. There's giant spaces everywhere they go too, parking lots. Mm -hmm. Here it's like more common than regular parking. Mm -hmm. You can still get a great spot in this city if you apply yourself. I think that's one of my dad's secret big wishes is that he wished he lived in a more popular spot just so he could show off his parallel parking prowess. Is he a pretty good PPR? You know, hey, you don't drive the big rig fire truck around and not get good at <laughs> behind the wheel, you know? This is great. I'm sadly impressed. And the sadness comes from liking a $10 frozen pizza this much. Okay. Like I don't, I'm having a tough time tracking, but I'm gonna let you just do your thing. I hate that it's $10. but so much for like a frozen pizza to me, but we live I mean, in the world that. we live in. I just don't get why that means you have sad happiness. Oh, 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 cause, cause <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, no, I know why. It's cause I have clinical depression. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That checks off. Checks off? Checks off the list of things that are bad about you. <laughs> good save, good save, good save. Yeah. The other day I was like editing one of her videos and I said, I really turned it on its ear. And you were like, oh, not on its head, huh? I went, no, I do ears now. <laughs> I'm like trying to like just talk my way out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like you know you messed up the phrase. Yeah, that's great. All right, well, this is very good. Um, Bless you, by the way. Maybe there might have been a little bit of hot sauce on that sausage piece I just gave her. Yeah. All right, we're gonna rate this pizza on a thumbs up or thumbs down basis. Make sure you stick around to the end. We're gonna give you guys a comment here today to chat with us throughout the day. You can do it in the comments. You can bring that hot, hot take you got over to Discord and chat with us on Discord. Uh, but let's rate this thing. Should they buy it or should they not? Eric McCluskey, drum roll please. Thank you, sir. Corey Wagner on the count of three. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down, whether or not you want to enjoy it. But the main thing is, should these guys spend $10 on the meaty legend from Geno's East? Are you ready? Yes. Oh! Oh! I'll tell you what. I think okay, you tell them. Because I feel like you were definitely gonna be a thumbs up, mm -hmm. and I was the one that was talking about sadness and depression and price yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah. The reason this is a thumbs up is if you know you're gonna buy a frozen pizza already and you're gonna have one in the fridge, like this is one you can guarantee will have flavor. Yes. And it's easy to cook. And yes. you know, so like I feel like if Do you think it's easier to cook than other frozen pizzas? Yes, some are kind of elusive with the thickness, mm. so they get too burnt on one end. This, to me, we kept kind of putting it in and out, yeah. kind of deciding, and it turned out great. Mm -hmm. I love all the cheese. I think it is very- So much it, cheese. Also, by the way, it doesn't look at all like the photo. No. Like, I understand that like things aren't gonna look like the promo picture, but this is truly doesn't look anything like no, it. No. The, the cheese is just overtaking There's this. way more cheese, and I think cheese lovers are gonna really be into this. But if you're, this, this is a thumbs up. If you're a frozen pizza person, I think you'll dig this. I agree. I think my reasoning is I know it's a little more expensive. It's not that much more expensive Couple than bucks, yeah. the, there's like different tiers. There is. It's double the price of the bottom tiers, but the price is going to crush that. Yeah. The place where this sits, it's one of the better flavors and right about the, the same price range ish. Yes. So if you want, if you're one of those people who's going to get a DiGiorno, mm -hmm. then you might, you're better off. DiGiornos are going to be eight, nine bucks. They can be. Yeah. And this is going to be a better flavor and it's honestly worth the extra dollar too. Those like three for tens Jack's ones, like I get it, but after you eat those, you're like, oh, that was just like to fill me up or because I was drunk and I wanted some yeah. pizza. You don't really like eat those and like you're happy you ate it. This, I straight up, I'm like, wow, that was like a good pizza experience. It's a good experience. Yeah, good experience. So. And then sucking down some Voodoo Rangers <laughs> while you're. <laughs> right down the old gullet while mouth. At it. Maybe not these IPA, bro, just so hot. I'm not a big hazy guy now. I, you guys know I love an IPA. I drank 50 of them in Portland, but for some reason, Hazies aren't my thing. I don't yeah. know, I can't get on board. I, I don't like it. It's because I'm rubbing off on you. I think it is. New England, specifically, like a real milky IPA? Not for give me. Give it like two. Not for me. Give it another year and a half, and then all of a sudden this guy's gonna be a Pilsner guy. I'm telling you, I'm bringing yeah. Pilsner and Lagers, dude. I know that happened to our good buddy Patrick Welby. Um, he also was like off that train and was drinking just light beers. He's He's got this way with people. 
It's not even my way, I'm just right. <laughs> These are not as good. It just took us all a while to learn. I kind of hope I get there because those are also way less calories mm -hmm. and way less alcohol. Because if I have three or four big old IPAs, I'm sleeping. These are annoying. These, you know what these are? These are for? These are for people who don't binge drink. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what's wrong with you? You know, people? there's food that like they're great to eat. Rally's fries are a great example. Yeah, I can have too much Rally's fries because the flavor is so overpowering. Right. It's not something to binge on. You don't want a, one of those big giant bowls of just Rally's fries. You're gonna get sick of them. Oh, that'd be awful. That's how these beers are. Mm -hmm. We're binge drinkers. <laughs> we like to drink a minimum ten of anything. <laughs> And Jesus. IPAs are yeah, a bingeable beer. You can't do it. You can't That's do it. the problem we run into is our alcoholism. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I absolutely understand. I once drank six Lagunitas brown sugars at a tailgate and I slept for 30 hours. That's the weak. Okay, maybe you're not an alcoholic. <laughs> No, because it's like 10%. I don't give a goddamn. <laughs> I drink 60% of an alcohol. You had, si you had six beers and had to sleep it off? Go. Brown sugar. Get away from me. Brown sugar is a 10% beer. You're a beer. child, bro. If you drank six brown sugars during bro, a Ryan's I'll game, I'll drink 12 in two hours, bro. You're a child. Bro. Let's do it. Let's You're do it. You're a child, Let's bro. do the brown sugar off. Six well, of them beer. Well, you and I will sit across from each other at a future filming, maybe at like a live show or something. I don't we'll want just, it. We'll it's sit just, there. Like I said, we'll just get pound brown sugars. Oh, yeah. They'll get gross, but I'm not gonna be like, I need to sleep this I think long. I just fell asleep. I blacked out. <laughs> yeah, let's see how the story changes, bro. Six beers, dude. You're six yeah, it beer. sounds You're bad. You're six beer Trish. Really, that, really the reason I brought that up was because I was agreeing with you that only having six I beers. I didn't know you were gonna do it in, so, in, in such a feminine way. <laughs> Uh, whatever, man. I'm, I'm the brown sugar. I'm brown sugar, beers. Sean, dude. Had six beers. I had this out like a light. 30, 30 hours. Whatever. All right, well, I guess I'm we gotta do a comment. Let's here. do a comment. Yeah, how many beers do you think I drank? How about this? <laughs> What's the most amount of drinks you've had in a day? Oh, I know that answer. I've done it for science. All right, he's gonna comment his for science. I literally like bought oh, cases of beer. I remember when anybody military, borrow right? them. Was it yeah, military? Yeah. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, once in the military, once in college, both came up with basically the exact same number. You guys already know my number six, so I'm done. I won't have to comment. Oh, Shawnee six beer, dude. I've only ever had six oh, beers. Shawnee What's six. Shawnee beer? six beers, dude. That yeah, that you don't want to see Sean on his seventh beer. Bro, that flows off the tongue way too. Shawnee well. six beers. Oh, Shawnee, Shawnee six beers. Maybe dude. you'll start talking about that more than all my DUIs. DUIs. What's the worst part of all my DUIs? I only had like three beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucks. Still over the limit, you know? Yeah, I know. Anyways. All right, well, comment how many drinks you've ever had in one day. And if you don't drink, how many slices of pizza have you had in a day? <laughs> that's the fun way to do that it. That might be more impressive. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we'll see you guys Monday for a brand new episode. Thanks for rocking with us. Go join the Discord. Say what up. Get the college shirts and the sweatshirts. And you'll have a good weekend. Sure. Sh Shawnee Six Spears will have a drink. Mm. Whoa, one, four and a half to go. Five I can't and a half finish this beer. It's gonna take me all afternoon. <laughs>